I'm Miss Karen, the Children's Librarian at Oakmont Carnegie Library, and this is Dudley. And we're doing another virtual story time with Dudley. Today we're reading A Couch for Llama by Dudley. This is one of our favorite books by Leah Gilbert. The Lago family's couch was very well loved. It was the perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, hiding and seeking. They had so many good times together. Maybe a few too many good times. Whee! Oops! Hey! One day they realized it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. One that was not too big or too small, but just right. Like the three bears, which is another story. The Lago family found the perfect couch at Harry's Fine Furniture. But on the way home, something went wrong. Whoosh! It was windy. Llama found a couch. Sniff, 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 snippity, sniff. Llama brayed hello to the couch, but the couch didn't say anything. Llama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have an appetite. So Llama ate the couch instead. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. The couch was useless. Take it away. But it just wouldn't budge. The Lago family noticed something was missing. Oh no, where's the couch? Meanwhile, Llama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. But this got very boring. snuck up and pounced and bouncedy bouncedy bounced whirled and twirled and jumped and bumped that looks fun and fell down into the smooshy mooshy fluffy puffy cushions he actually finally completely loved the couch the Lago family found their couch and also a llama Look how comfortable he is on that couch. Specifically, a stubborn, couch-loving kind of llama. They had a great idea. Don't worry, llama, we'll be back. And look how sad he is. Very sad about his couch. What a surprise, a couch just for llama. At the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their new couch, but Llama was the happiest of all. The end.